hello guys hello everyone how are you guys doing you are welcome to diamond media tv quickly without wasting much of that time let's just go in straight to the news well guys first we have here on the list today july 7 professor samuel undubisi was shot dead by unknown gunmen well guys let me bring the news in details to you first Today, being July 7, unknown government have killed the Director General of the Science and Equipment Development Institute in Ugun. He was killed along Port Harcourt Express Road with his police orderly this evening, Wednesday, July 7. The driver of the disease who sustained gunshot inquiries has been rushed to the hospital where doctor had battling to save his life his official vehicle which was riddled with several bullet holes was seen driving into the gutter it is not clear why the director general was hid as nothing was removed from the vehicle or its occupants confirming the incident enugu's police spokesman Daniel Undukwe said information surrounding a shooting incident today, 07 of July, at about 16 hours along Enugun Potakot Express Road, said to have led to the death of a man and his police orderly is still sketchy. Well, guys, this is this one is very very shocking, you know. That's to tell you there is no security in that country. Imagine the director general of an institution was just shot. As in, they are bringing to it, bringing to us that people who shot him dead, they are unknown gunmen. I don't understand. Why is that unknown people are being terrorizing the country? Up to now, nobody have, as in, none of them has been revealed to to be known. They are still targeting them to be unknown. Any incident that just happened, how we we all the citizen we hear is unknown government. Unknown. Why is it that is it not known government? Why is it that it, it, it always is always like unknown government? No. That's to tell you the life in that country is not safe. So guys, this is very sad. This is sad news. Being today, July 7, a director general was shot dead. Well guys, let's move on. Let's go straight to the other updates here we have. Here, this is, we have the new Army Chief of Staff, Farouk Yahaya. Today, he was being dressed by the president of the country, Mohamed Buhari. You understand? So, guys, the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria just today dressed his army chief of staff, the man of Farouk Yahaya. So, guys, this is the speech Yahaya left after. He was being dressed so i'll be reading reading the speech to you guys he said we have sent many bandits to god to answer for their crime this is a statement this is a statement released by farouk yahaya let me read the, the, the statement in details today chief of army staff farouk yahaya has said nigerian troop we continue to eliminate bandits and other criminal undermining national security speaking after he was decorated by president muhammadu buhari after being promoted to the rank of lieutenant general on wednesday july 7 farouk said most bandits and criminals terrorizing the country has have been sent to God to answer to their crimes. Well, guys, this is the first statement from 
the new army chief of staff of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He was being decorated today by the president, Muhammadu Buhari. Well, guys, let's move on. Here we have also, this is from Donald Trump, the ex-president of the United States of America. Today, Donald Trump said in his statement that he wants to sue Google, Facebook, and other social media to court because of the, the because of the ban they gave to him. You know, since last year, uh, ex President Donald Trump was banned from social media like Google, Facebook. So today, he came on the in media, on the internet, to say that he wants to sue Google, Facebook to court for for being finding a ban on him. So guys, let me read the details to you. Here we have, this is a statement from Trump. He said, Trump to sue Facebook, Twitter, CEO over being banned from their platform. Former US President Donald Trump has announced plans to sue tech giants Google, Twitter and Facebook along with their CEOs Mark Zuckerberg and Jack Dorsey because of bans imposed on him and others. Mr. Trump was suspended from his social account in January over public safety concern in the wake of the Capitol riots led by his supporters. On Wednesday being today, Mr. Trump called the lawsuit a very beautiful development for our freedom of speech. In a news conference from East Gulf Resort in Bedminster, New Jersey, Mr. Trump railed against social media companies and, demo, demo, and Democrats who he accused of exposing misinformation. Well, guys, this is good because, you know, everybody have freedom of speech. So I think the man on his own sense is right because he has the right to sue this social media platform because since he has been banned from their platform because of when uh, the riot is supporters uh, 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 a, a cost during uh, during the election during the uh, uh, last election of uh, the Americans so his supporters went hard on the street to protest against on inappropriate conduct of the election so since then a ban was being held on his account on Facebook, Twitter, Google, Trump account was held down. So it was being banned from accessing this social media platform. So I think he's right. He has a freedom of speech as everyone as because everyone has a freedom of speech. So you have the right to do anything and you have the right to sue anybody if you want to. So guys, that is for Trump. So let's move on to the other news. This one, guys, <laughs> yeah, this one is very funny. The year is this one is from sex workers in Kenya. Today, sex workers has come out from their wherever they, they, they are holding their sex wherever. So they just come out today to see that they are waiting till tomorrow if the country don't release condoms you guys know what is condom so still sex workers usually use condom for their sex work so they are complaining that there are lack of condom in the country so of which the government and whosoever in charge wants them to contact 
HIV or AIDS while being having sex without using condoms. So they are they came out today massively to to to, to on a rally said tomorrow being eighth of July if there is nothing done if the condom is not excess for them to use that they will hold a protest so guys let me read this news to you so that you will not think i'm the one who is just bringing this news like that so let me read the details to you so that you will hear from this you will hear what the media just said so guys this one is from kenya says workers in mobasa county kenya have threatened to hold demonstrations on Thursday, July 8, over lack of condoms in public health facilities. Okay, conveying their grievances through Nkoko Inju Africa, a CBO that champions the right of sex workers in the coast region. The sex workers said they are at risk of contacting HIV AIDS. The group executive director, Mary Line Lane, said, if not changed by the end of tomorrow, we are moving to the street. Condoms are being distributed by government for free. But why don't we get them? We need those answers. <laughs> well, guys, it's funny, but on the other side, it's not funny because really, government should provide these condoms because people need it you know not even only the sex workers at least people adults you know we all need condoms to for protections for so many things but now those you no know, sex workers are basically it is like their tools their pen if you're an office worker you need a pen to be writing always so sex workers they need condom for their activities so they they, they 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 come out massively to to lay a complaint and give a warning that tomorrow being 8th of july if there is no excess supply of condom they are going to come out on the street to protest and hold a massive rally well guys that one is good well let's move on to the other news we hear we have girl 14 years old sentenced to seven years in Jovanian prison for killing Uber Eats driver. Well, guys, let me read this news in details. A 14 years old girl has been sentenced to seven years in prison after she pleaded guilty to murdering an Uber Eats driver during a botch carjacking. The teenage girl, who cannot be named for legal reason, was caught on camera with another girl, age 15, trying to steal 66 years old Mohammed Hanwara car in Washington, D.C., where he was delivering food on March 23. The girl tried to drive away his car while he clogged to the driver's side door. The girl crashed the car, untimely killing. Howard, a father of three and grandfather of four in the process. Both girls were subsequently charged with murder and the 14 years old, who was 13 at the time of the incident, was under the maximum possible sentence at a hearing on Tuesday, July 6. The 15 years old, who has seen turn 16, was under the same sentence in June and will be released at the age of 21. Other charges lodged against the girls were dropped as part of their plea D with prosecutors report first Chinque DC. Well guys, this one is so bad. You know, as young as those girls, they are going going in the prison at, at this very early age you know so that is that is bad that is not good for the future of any any teenager you know so I don't know 
let's just move on to the other news here we have again court clears as finance minister kemi adesum of nyc saga says nyc certificate not required for appointment as minister or to contest for us of rep seats guys we have just come to the end of this video thanks for staying to the end guys please share this video to every social media platform so that everyone will get to know more about this channel also guys leave your comments in our comment section below so that in our next video we get to talk more about it well guys thanks for staying tuned see you in our next video all right guys bye bye